have an emergency. Our mouse friend Squeak has lost his wind-up key. He's already started slowing down. What will happen if he stops? We'll have to wind them up again. But to do that, we need the key. Oh. It's not in here. We're in here. And it's not in here either. Ooh! Hey! What's that clicking sound? Maybe your treads need oiling. I'll do it for you later. Right now, we have to find that key. But we looked everywhere. Squeak's really slowing down fast. We won't be able to wind him up again without that key. Ooh. Hey, maybe we could find Squeak a new key. That's not only a great idea, TK. It sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find another key to wind up Squeak before he stops. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Is there anything on the exercise planet that can help Squeak? Exercise helps keep us going, but a wind-up mouse like Squeak needs a key. Do you think there are keys on the music planet? Well, pianos have keys, but not the kind we need to wind up Squeak. That looks like a place where we might find a new key for Squeak. Yes, the wind up planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. wind you up, and you'll be zipping around in no time. Huh? Then maybe we can find out how to stop this clicking. It's driving me crazy. Um. Remember, the key we're looking for has to be the right size to fit Squeak. See? That key is way too big. And this one is way too small. Ooh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, over there. Come on. <laughs> this race car key looks like it might fit Squeak. <laughs> Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Aha! 
One that really works. Okay, gang, we're gonna find a key and we're gonna find it fast. Let's go! Every key we try changes Squeak into something else. The right key must be here somewhere. I can feel it. Maybe we're just not looking hard enough. Maybe we can... Ah! What is that clicking noise? Wait a minute. When did your tread start clicking, Orbit? Uh, around the same time Squeak lost his key. That's what I thought. I think I know where Squeak's key is. But we looked everywhere and couldn't find it. That's because we couldn't see it, but we could hear it. Huh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it was Squeak's key that was making the clicking sound all along. I must have accidentally rolled over it, and it got stuck in my tread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quit squirming, Squeak. That tickled. Squeak, you're finally all wound up, and still the little mouse pal we know and love. I guess that means a big mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, Squeak lost his wind-up key, and we couldn't find it on the rocket. So we went to the wind-up planet to find him a new one. But each key we tried changed Squeak's personality. The yellow key turned him into a buzzing bee. And the black key turned Squeak into a pirate 
and he tried to steal the rocket. But then we found that Squeak's key was stuck in Orbit's treads all along. So we learned that sometimes, if you take the time to look, you'll find that the answer to your problem is right there in front of you. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. Strange. It must be the quietest circus ever. I don't hear a sound. What does the sign say, Emma? It's a rhyme. We're taking a break and have gone away, so the circus is closed huh? just for today. We've worked so hard, it's for the best. Please stay and play and be our guest. Rusty Robots! What fun is a circus planet without a circus? But the sign says we can stay and play here, Orbit. Maybe we can put on our own circus. Huh? That's a great idea, Emma. I could be the juggler. And as you all know, I could be the acrobat. And this is my chance to try walking on a tightrope up in the air. <laughs> what are you going to do for our circus, Rob? 
Uh, um, well, um, it's a secret. Okay, then. Let's go see what we can find to use in our circus acts. <laughs> What am I gonna do? <sighs> oh, hi, Squeak. Have you come to see the show? TK's gonna juggle, Emma's gonna be an acrobat, and Orbit's gonna walk a tightrope. What about me? Mm, I can't do anything. I can't juggle, I'm not an acrobat, and I can't walk a tightrope. You think there must be something I can do? Okay, let's go see if I can find something to do for the circus show. But I don't think there is. Hmm, Emma, TK, and Orbit must be back there getting ready. Should we take a peek? Wow! You think I should try to juggle like TK Squeak? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'd need a lot of practice to be a juggler like TK. Rope, but I think I can do this. <laughs> I guess I need a lot more practice to learn to do that, too. Tell them the truth. I don't have any circus talent. I can't put on a show like they can. <sighs> you, you think I'm funny? Then maybe I can put on a circus show like the others. I can't be a juggler. I can't be an acrobat. And I can't be a tightrope walker. But I can be.
great too. Not only did we all have fun and see a really great show, we got to be in one too. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? circus performers. So we went to the circus planet. But the circus people weren't there, so we decided to put on our own show. TK was the juggler, Emma was the acrobat, and Orbit was the tightrope walker. It takes lots and lots of practice to do all those things. I couldn't do anything like they could. But Squeak made me see that I could be funny and make him laugh. So, I did a circus clown show. Well done, everyone. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye, circus planet. Problem. Ah! My moon boots! I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my moon boots. Oh, how could I have lost them? <gasps> hmm, don't ask me. I've even lost track of how many things I've lost. <gasps> Let's think, Emma. Huh? Where were you the last time you had them? Hmm, let's see. I wore them on the rainy planet, and then I had them on the mud planet. Wait, did I have them on the rainy planet? Or maybe it was the... Oh, I can't remember. But they're definitely not here. I've looked everywhere. How are we going to help you find them if we don't know where to look? Hmm. I've always wondered where lost things go. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. stops, nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I, I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, huh? that looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Last ball. He sure found that in a hurry. 
That's because Squeak is really good at finding things. If Squeak can find his lost toy, I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! Hmm. <gasps> yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. And I signed it. But Orbit, Rob and Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. <sighs> Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You can pretend it's your tummy trunk. finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're <gasps> stuck. <gasps> what are we going to do? <sighs> Orbit! TK! stayed back with Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I built Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. How do we get back to Rob and Emma? I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. Uh... Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one, and left a trail. Yes! We can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly! TK, I am a finding genius, and you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit. I think.
Do you think the best finder ever could find us a couple of lost bulldozers? Wait, maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk. That's it! The tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back for it! I'm going into overdrive! Oh! TK, you're the best! Look out, Orbit! Here we come! <laughs> TK really saved the day! Yeah! Oh. Huh? Uh, speaking of saving the day... Ta-da! Orbit! You found my moon boots! Thank you so much! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Yay! <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? on things that belong to you. That's what Orbit did. And he started to find all the things that he'd ever lost. Orbit was so excited, he stopped paying attention to where he was going. Next thing we knew, he was lost with TK. But TK figured out that following the trail of Orbit's stuff would lead them back to us. Good thing too, because Emma and I got trapped under a pile of boxes. We needed TK's help to get us out. Not only did we find Emma's lost boots, we also learned how important it is to pay attention and stick together when you're in a new place so you don't get lost. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Colossal Planet. Troubles, just solve three puzzles. But if you cannot, one returns to this spot. Now step through the door for puzzles galore. So if we solve three puzzles, we'll find the missing puzzle piece. But hmm. there's nothing on the other side of the door. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa! Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, wait for me! Huh? Huh? Our first puzzle, and it's easy peasy. <laughs> the clock is ticking. You have to put the piece in before time runs out. It's an octagon. An octagon has eight sides.
remember the order the squares light up. Red, yellow, red, green, uh, red. I guess it's all up to Orbit. I guess it's all up to me. Red, yellow, red, green, blue. Here it goes. Red, yellow, red, green. Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your mission? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the puzzle piece prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, One stops, nobody knows. Look, the baseball planet. That's a fun place to go. But not if you want to build a sand castle. Mm. The clock planet would be a good place to find out what time it is. <laughs> but not to have a picnic. Now that looks like the place to go. Yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. 
Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Orbit, but those coconuts are up pretty high. And you're not exactly built for climbing trees. I'm not gonna climb the tree. Huh? Then how will you get the coconut? I'm gonna use my head. Well, while you're outsmarting coconuts, Emma and I will find the best spot to set up the picnic. <laughs> Any spot is a good spot. As long as there are no ants. Yeah. TK works fast. She's building up a big appetite. Uh. Okay, coconuts, come down. Uh. Picking a coconut is harder than I thought. Uh huh. Okay, coconuts, if you don't want to come down, I'll knock you down. Ha! Huh? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll go tell our fearless coconut hunter that lunch is almost ready. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick some of these yummy oranges. Okay. What are you making now, TK? A moat. It's a trench you fill with water, so the only way into the castle is over the drawbridge. Whoa! Rockin' robots! That's awesome! <laughs> Okay, this time, you're coming down. Getting a coconut orbit? What do you mean? I already have one. See? Mm. No. Where? Right the. Huh? But it was there a second ago. It was right. Ants! Ants took my coconut! Sick! There are no ants here, Orbit. Uh, besides, ants are too small to carry a coconut. But ants are strong. And maybe these were really big ants. Then you would have seen them. So then what happened to it? My coconut didn't just walk off by itself. Mm, I don't know, Orbit. It's a mystery. A mystery I'm going to help you find the answer to. I didn't really want a coconut anyways. Hmm. couple of those oranges for my sand castle? Sure. Thanks, Emma. We can eat these later. What? Where did they go? Huh? <gasps> what is going on? I'm gonna name it Castle Orange. Huh? Where did I put that orange? Huh? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Huh? Huh? You're not going to believe this, but 
but I picked some oranges and bananas, put them down, then they just disappeared. Oh, ants. I knew it was ants. Sneaky ninja ants. First they took my coconut, now I'm as oranges. You're not gonna believe this, but I got some oranges from Emma, put them down, then they just disappeared? disappeared? No. They floated off huh? all by themselves. Invisible ants. I don't think it was ants. I think it was a ghost. <gasps> My sandcastle is haunted. <gasps> I don't know what took your coconut or your fruit, but I'm sure it was an invisible ant or a ghost. Then what was it? There's one way to find out. We have to catch it. But we need something to catch it with. We can use my castle. Mm -hmm. We'll need something to lure the ants, or whatever it is, hmm. inside TK's castle. And I don't have any more coconuts. I'm all out of fruit. Ooh, maybe I can help. I was saving this for us to share for dessert. Yum! Maybe it took the fruit. It's big enough and fast enough, but not invisible enough. That's why no one saw it. That space lizard can change its color to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. Camouflage or not, he's got the bait. Now, TK, before he gets away. <laughs> I'm glad you like coconuts too, Lizard. It's always fun to share a beach party picnic with a new friend. <laughs> I'd say it was a perfect picnic. And that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we decided to go to the beach planet to have a picnic. But the food we gathered mysteriously disappeared. Orbit thought ants took it, and TK thought it was a ghost. But ants are too small, and there are no such things as ghosts. It turned out to be a space lizard that could camouflage itself by changing colors. So we learned that we shouldn't jump to conclusions, and that we should gather the facts instead. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, something. Huh. What? We can't have help giving dinner with a comet cake for dessert. That's what the holiday is all about. I always thought help giving was about helping one another. Uh, well, it's about that too, but it's mostly about having comet cake for dessert. It is something we always have after our holiday dinner. Emma's right. It's a tradition. We have to find a comet cake somewhere. Hmm. Wait, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Mission 
Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a comet cake for our help giving dinner. I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The fruit planet? Fruit is yummy, but not the dessert we're looking for. Ooh. The book planet. Yay! That would be a good place to go if we wanted to read about comet cakes, but we want to eat one. Oh, now that looks like a good plate. <laughs> Excellent choice, the Comet Cake Planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Celebrating Hope Giving Day by helping ourselves. It's as hard as a coconut. What's with that? Comet cakes are supposed to be soft and cakey. Hmm. Maybe this one's not ready to be picked yet. Hmm. Rob's right. It's purple, not pink. When comet cakes are ready to eat, they're pinker than me. Huh? That one looks like it's ready to be picked. Ooh. Gee, this one looks like it should have been picked a long time ago. Hmm. It's turned into a comet mush. All the good ones have been picked already. <laughs> there must be one good comet cake left for our holiday dessert. <gasps> and there it is! Yeah! Whoa! That's the one! Yes! <laughs> huh? Huh? I don't believe that greedy gears. He just took our comet cake. Well, he's not getting away with it. <laughs> yes, he is. Let us say goodbye to our holiday dessert. Looks like it's mission not accomplished. Which way back? I think the ship is that way. Is that? Oh, 
but it belongs to that greedy Gears Cake Snatcher. Okay, Rob, what's the plan? We'll ask him nicely if he'll share some comet cake with us. Don't you mean our comet cake? Whoa, he had a crash landing. Getting hit by a meteorite is bad enough, but to have it happen on help giving day? That's the worst. He'll never be able to fix it without the right tools. He's got supper all laid out. Only there's nothing to eat. Maybe that's why he wanted the comet cake so badly. Hey, how come there's two bowls? Huh? <laughs> hey there, little fella. I'd say the little guy's hungry. Now what do we do? Well, it is help giving day, so let's give him a little help. Think you can fix the ship, TK? I'm on it, Rob. Give me a hand with the food from our rocket, Emma. Dinner's about to be served. What about me? I want to help, too. Hmm. Not the baby. I don't know anything about babies. <laughs> You'll figure it out. ship so you and your son can head for home right after we eat. So, should I get the cake now? Huh? You want us to have the dessert? to celebrate Health Giving Day, wouldn't you? Mmm, -hmm, the best! Almost as good as this comet cake! <laughs> <laughs> giving dinner dessert. But every comet cake was too hard or too mushy, except one. But another robot took it. We thought he was being greedy. But then we found out he and his son were just hungry. Since help giving day is to celebrate helping others, we helped them by fixing their broken spaceship so they could go home. And we learned how much others appreciate it when you take the time to help them. That's a good thing to remember even when it's not help giving day. Now, time to go. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Comet Cake Planet. Uh, who wants to disappear? 
Orbit, how about your camera? Uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. Uh, Squeak? Squeak? Uh, Squeak? Squeak! What happened, Rob? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't learned the trick yet. I don't know how to find Squeak. Then what can we do? Maybe we just need a different kind of magic to get Squeak back. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up, but I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. It didn't come with any wands. Don't worry. I think I can help with that. Hmm. No. A feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm. Aha! Spoon! Hmm. That's not a wand. Let's see if it works. not Squeak. Rob, you turned Squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean Squeak is gonna be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, Squeak. He was just here. We lost him again? Mm -hmm. Emma, wait! Emma! Emma. <gasps> huh? Huh? Here I am. How did you... But, but you were... It's a trap door. Why? Ah! <laughs> huh? Cool. But where's Squeak? It's all in the 
book, Rob. You can learn how to do these tricks if you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh, hey, huh? look at this. What's this? It's magic cards. Here, look. Whoa. I love cards. They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card, any card. Now, I will guess what card you have. <laughs> really? Ooh. You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Oh, a seven of diamonds. Uh-uh. Uh, a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm. A two of clubs? Uh, wrong. Uh, I don't get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Rob, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. This one. Let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> Made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah, try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See, it doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is, Hold on. That's it. <gasps> hey, come back. I need that. Knowing how. That's the trick. Yay! I think this is a big mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Reappear, but instead he got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Sweet back to normal. Just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how he did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four,
going to the space fair. Kiki's got the tickets. I sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space games and rides. Rock and robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space barrel like this, can we? We'll need to get him cleaned up, and then we'll go to the fair. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Can I help you today? We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Book planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The scrub dub planet. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, the scrub dub planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak and the Super Sudzer. Ha <laughs> 
This is taking too long. Can't we make it go faster? That doesn't sound good. No! no, it doesn't. Maybe we should turn it off. Oh, no. I think I broke it. The switch is stuck. All that's left are the buffers. <gasps> ah, that's more like it. Hey! Mommy, go! Ah! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sensor is broken. Oh, it's all my fault for being in such a big hurry. Don't worry, Emma. If you get those parts back, I'm sure I can fix it. <laughs> we can do that. What about me? I'll try to get Orbit unstuck. And we'll go get the missing parts. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the Super Sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. We learned that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Bye. 
by Scrub a Dub Planet. exercises. What'll it be? Toast and jam, oatmeal, or my famous scrambled space eggs? Ooh, scrambled space eggs, please. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break this to everyone, but I was just in the kitchen. We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Ooh, maybe we can get some more. I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. <sighs> the farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg-tastic choice. Get ready for countdown. So where there are chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hey ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob, and these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. What brings you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Mm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah. That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right, yeah! yeah. I should warn you, sometimes a simple sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So if you need help... We can do it! Okay, then. The eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs. 
Here come the great egg collector. <gasps> oh, no! The chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens. the chickens, and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. Hmm. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let me see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you're red all over. Uh-oh. Ah! No, come back. Come back. <gasps> she didn't really mean it. Oh. like pink either. Grumpy, you just need to know how to talk to him. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah, turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. Farmer Fred. <laughs> my pleasure. I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help. I'm much obliged. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well, he was 
was busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence. And then we got chased by a robo bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done. What an exciting mission. As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Farmer Fred. Goodbye, Farm Planet. Just in time. Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh no, that would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Discover new worlds. 
Alien Space Sheriff Rob is fixing to keep that nasty space troll gang of outlaws from rustling our planet. There's nothing left for me. The dress-up trunk is empty. We can't do the play without you, TK. We have to find you a costume. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk! Of course! I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big R! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit! Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dopies, there's at least a hundred space trolls out there. But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit. Quick, saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute. No one's capturing me. I'm going to capture Those troll dudes are here for my show. Yow! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm jungle explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rockstar eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean, these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. You're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Hmm. No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. No! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on the play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Me too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> oh, no! Yikes. Space oh. trolls! They found us! Oh, no. <gasps> we must protect the statue. A vast rock star orbit. Yes! Later, dudes. Everyone, hot tail it for the hills. Space sure crawl to keep them busy while you folks escape. Eat pillows, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheer Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Come me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all 
together. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater planet to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home and help buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet. Just in time. Emma's gonna read us a story from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Thank <laughs> you. 
finding food for Squeak here will be the easiest mission ever. Don't you mean the che easiest mission ever? <laughs> got a new mission, to get Squeak before he gets lost. That's not gonna be too easy. It's Squeak, but where is he? Look, he's in that cheesecake. Uh, 
It wasn't just Squeak we were chasing. It was other mice, too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Cheese Planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. Feeling well. Mm. I think I must have come down with. Uh, 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 so we everyone. Maybe you picked up a space virus. TK, you should sneeze into your arm. You'll make Orbit sick sneezing on him like that. <sighs> I, I, ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Yicky. Yicky is right. We need to get you some help. We sure do. And that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We think TK might have caught a space virus. We need to get her some help. Ah, oh, dear. Poor TK. We'll find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet! Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it planet! That's it! That's where robots go when they're sick! The perfect place! Now get ready for countdown! Hurry everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
next stop, the Fix-It Planet. On, TK, I think the fix it clinic is this way. Nice, it's here. Wow, huh? Ooh. Huh? Uh, don't you mean wow, it's nice here? Orbit, are you feeling okay? Emma, you got us here. What? <laughs> Take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I help? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. Huh? No, I'm supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing, and Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently, but lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up. Oh, and it's fun. 
There! You see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. You sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Caught a nasty space virus. Uh, 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 choo! Uh, choo! So we went to the Fix It Planet to help TK feel better. Uh, 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 TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic when I caught the virus, too. We were nervous to see the doctor, but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fix It Planet! just stop. We have to get a new booster to replace the broken one. Then what are we waiting for? Garage planet, here we come. That's our second problem. Huh? huh? What do you mean, second problem? The garage planet is too far away. The rocket will never make it all that way with only one good booster. Well, there must be some place we can find a second booster. Mm -hmm. Some place closer. There's no time to lose. We have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find a rocket booster to replace our broken one. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hmm, I bet there are all kinds of spare parts on the puzzle planet. But they're puzzle parts, not rocket parts. Mm -hmm. Hey! What about the farm planet? Mm. 
I'm sure we'd find a red rooster, but we need a rocket booster. That looks like a place where we might find rocket parts. Yes, the junkyard planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Chips go. Ooh. Sorry, Rocket. I didn't mean you. Don't worry. Once we find you another booster, you'll be as good as new. Okay, gang. Let's spread out. <laughs> hmm. uh. <gasps> Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Who did you think it was? The junkyard ghost? Ooh. <laughs> Cut it out, Orbit. <laughs> I'm gonna go look over there. Uh... Huh? What was that? Orbit, I heard a noise. I did hear something. Relax. There's no one here but us. Uh, yes, you're right. I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not rocket boosters. <gasps> Someone there? We're the only huh? ones here. I... I thought I saw someone. Hmm. Huh? huh? Well, you must have imagined you saw someone. Hmm. <gasps> well, I'm not imagining. Those footprints! <gasps> I don't know, TK. They don't really look like footprints to me. Uh... Maybe that's what Junkyard Ghost footprints look like. <laughs> 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 No, I'm sure something's out there. Well, I'm still hoping there's a used rocket booster out there. Somewhere. But we won't know until we find it. Let's go. Uh, you want to huh? stick with me, TK? No, it's okay, Rob. Thanks. Someone drew this flower. Hmm. Someone made this garden and twinged the flowers. <laughs> huh? huh? I knew it. I knew there was someone here. Wait, she was just as afraid as I was. Hmm. Hello? Sorry, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. That's your garden, isn't it? I think you like flowers. Do you like the one I made? It's not as pretty as yours. But you can have it if you like. Huh? My name's TK. I'm glad you like it. Huh. 
I'm starting to think there isn't one rocket booster on this whole planet. I found one! Uh -huh. I think I found one! Over here! I need help! I almost got it! I might have been mistaken. There's no way across. How are we gonna get over? We're trapped. But not TK. Hmm. But what can TK do? I don't know, Orbit, but at least she's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> TK! <laughs> Look out! Run, TK, run! <gasps> There's a monster after you! Oh! <laughs> This is Blossom. I named her that because she really likes flowers. Uh -huh. See? I knew there was someone here. <laughs> hey! How did you get stuck way over there? <sighs> it's a long story. <sighs> What's important is how we're going to get back across. Maybe TK's new friend can help us. What about it, Blossom? Can you help my friends? Uh -huh. Did you find another booster to replace this broken one? <sighs> no. <gasps> Blossom, where are you going? TK's new friend did look a little bit like a monster. She really wasn't. She was really nice. And she rescued us when we were stuck. Helped us find the piece we were looking for to fix the rocket. And helped us learn that you can't tell what someone is like just by the way they look. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, take long. It never does. There just aren't enough hiding places on our spaceship. 
Hmm. We need to find a place to play a really good game of hide and seek. Yes. That's right. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We need to find a place we can play a really fun game of hide and seek. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The soccer planet? Soccer's fun, but that's not what we want to play. <laughs> The clock planet. We know what time it is. Time to play hide and seek. <laughs> oh, that looks like a good place. Yes, the hide and seek planet. The perfect choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. And this looks like it's going to be the best one ever. Nope, no one under there. Oh, I sure hope he didn't see me. Hey, who was that? Huh? Hmm. How'd this get here? <laughs> Rob, look out! The broom! One, two, three on TK! Never mind me. I just saw that broom floating in the air. <laughs> A broom can't float, TK. Well, this one did. I saw it. It was floating all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to laugh at me. Well, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. <laughs> Ooh, I spy with my invisible. 
invisible eye, some more fun for invisible orbit. <laughs> one, two, three on Emma. Never mind one, two, three on me. One, two, three on whoever was tickling my feet. Well, we're all here, so it must have been Orbit. <laughs> but I don't see him. <laughs> well, I hear him. I'm over here. One, two, three on. Squeak? Oh, where's Orbit? I'm over here. I'm stuck under this. Get it off me. Don't worry, Orbit. We're coming. Not that one. I'm under this one. All right, Orbit. That's enough. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No way. We're playing hide and seek. You have to find me. again, Orbit. But I really am here. You can see me now. That hat that made me invisible fell off. A hat that made you invisible? Now you're being way too silly. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to the ship. Once he realizes we've stopped looking for him, he'll come back to the rocket. on the hide-and-seek planet forever. We wouldn't have left you, Orbit. But you were making so much stuff up, we didn't know when you were telling the truth. <laughs> I know you're right. I'm sorry. But even though I got myself into trouble, that was the best game of hide-and-seek ever. Mission <laughs> accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? the hide-and-seek planet to find some good hiding places. But Orbit found a hat that made him invisible. So instead of hiding, he played tricks on us. Then Orbit fell down a hole and called us for help. We thought he was still tricking us. But when we found out that he really did need our help, we came to his rescue right away. We learned that when someone always makes things up, it's hard to know when they're telling the truth. I'd suggest that always telling the truth is the way to go. For sure. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye. What do you mean, Emma? We can have a slumber party. That will be 
about going to sleep. We sleep every night on the rocket. Slumber parties aren't about going to sleep. They're about fun and games and staying up late. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to find the best planet in the whole robot galaxy for a sleepover. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Let's go. Which one stops? Nobody <laughs> knows. Wow, it's the rainbow planet. Ooh. It looks pretty, but I don't think we could play or sleep on rainbows. Ooh. I think it would be too cool to sleep on the ice planet. Hmm. That looks like a good place for a slumber party. Yes, the bedtime planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Tell 
everyone a story. A bet? I'd rather play hide and seek. We can play nice, slow, relaxing hide and seek. I'll be it. Everybody hide. One, two, three, four, five, six. TK, you're supposed to be hiding. We have to stay up all night and play games. Would you like to sleep with it tonight, Orbit? Thank you, TK. But what about you? No, you won't have your teddy bot. <laughs> Good thing teddy bots have sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the bedtime planet for a slumber party. We played lots of fun games. So many that we got very tired. But Orbit wanted to keep playing. Then, we discovered Orbit was afraid he might have bad dreams. So TK let Orbit borrow her teddy bot to sleep with. Then he was okay. We learned that staying up late sometimes is fun, but in the end, you always have to go to bed. And sometimes, we need a little help going to sleep. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four,
Show and share, and orbits up first. Ooh, today, the thing I want to show and share is my space top. When you spin it really fast, <laughs> it balances on its tiny tip. Yeah, we know orbit. <laughs> That's because you always show your space top for show and share. Maybe you have something new to show and share with us? Uh, nope, nothing new. How about you, TK? Or Rob? Or Emma? Hmm. It looks like we all have the same things we usually show and share. No one has anything new. Then I think this means we all have something new. A new mission. <laughs> to find something new for each of us to show and share. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find new things for show and share. Okay, then. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> How about tree planet? But we learned all about trees the last time we visited. We need to branch out and find new things to show and share. Stinky foot planet? I don't think we want to go there. You're right, TK. We don't want to play show and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I bet we'd find all kinds of interesting things there. Discovery planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Show and share. So it's just a rock. That's what I said. There are tons more interesting things around here than a rock. Yeah, like what I found. Come on. Ta da! Here's my show and share. What is it? It's a radio, I think. It plays music. Let me show you. Can. One extender arm 
and share was a radio, but it's actually a noisemaker. A very loud noisemaker. That was a great show and share, TK. But wait till I show you mine. My show and share is a pogo stick. To use it, you just get on and hop, hop, hop around. I'll show you. That's not hopping, Emma. That's spinning. It's making me dizzy. Yeah, but it looks like fun. a whirly stick than a pogo stick because it spins you round and round. Thanks for showing and sharing the whirly stick, Emma. It was fun. Okay, now it's my turn. Come on! <coughs> my show and share is this cool mini flying saucer. Cool. Awesome! And I think this bug makes it really fly. <laughs> Heard of a rolling saucer? Me neither. But I think it wants us to chase it. Come on! you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we came to Discovery Planet to find new things for show and share. But we discovered that nothing we found was what we thought it was. TK's radio didn't play music like she thought. It made loud noises. And Emma's pogo stick was really a whirling stick. An orbit's flying saucer was really a rolling saucer. Finally, we discovered that the rock I found wasn't just a rock. 
It also made awesome sounding space music. So we learned that things aren't always what they seem to be. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Discovery Planet. will like it. It's kind of plain. Hey, is that for Squeak? Huh? Yes, it's a surprise. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? I like it, but it is a little plain, I guess. And kind of small. Yeah, huh. that's what I thought. You know, we could help you make it fancier. And taller. And more fun. Maybe together we can make a whole new mouse house. A bigger, fancier, fun mouse house. That sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like a super mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, the tree planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, yeah, but we don't want to build a tree house. Hmm. The cheese planet. That's Squeak's favorite. <laughs> True. But if we make him a house of cheese, Squeak might eat it. The craft planet. That's perfect. <laughs> yes, the craft planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak's an expert at finding things. Huh? This way, he won't see it and ruin the surprise. Uh. Good thinking. OK, 
Okay, let's get started. Hmm, I think we should make Squeak's house long and wide, like a big block of cheese. I was thinking it could be tall and shiny, like a tower. Oh, I like that idea. A tower? I thought we'd make it more fun, with lots of colors. Yes, something fancy. Tall and shiny sounds better to me. Me too. Okay then, here's what we'll do. TK and I will make a mouse house, and Orbit and Emma can make one too. And then we'll see which one Squeak likes better. You're, You're on. on! Well, at least that's one thing we can all agree on. <laughs> <laughs> So how tall should we make it? Really tall. Yeah. Hmm. We can stack these boxes on top of each other. We're going to make the tallest, coolest mouse house ever. You got it. I think we could build a really fun mouse house with these craft sticks. Hmm. But why live in a house when you can live in a palace? That's it. We'll make our mouse palace even bigger and more colorful than their mouse tower. <laughs> huh? They're making a palace. A mouse palace? Well, we're making a mouse tower. And it's going to be the best mouse house because we'll make it even taller. Time to get rocking, TK. for Squeak to see out of. I bet Orbit and Emma didn't think to add one of those. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Uh. Ugh. Oh. Uh. Ours is definitely taller. <laughs> but ours is much fancier. Ours has two flags. But ours has lots of colors. Well, We'll just have to let Squeak decide which mouse house is best. Although, I think I know which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Huh? Let's move it into the rocket. I can't wait to show him. <laughs> Uh-oh. It won't fit through the doorway. It's too tall. Oh, that's too bad. I guess now he'll have to pick between ours and <laughs> ours. Come on, Emma. Let's go show Squeak his new mouse house. <laughs> oh, oh no! Be careful! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> I don't think we should move it. It's too delicate. Hmm. I can't believe we made our mouse house too tall. And I can't believe we made ours too fragile. What were we thinking? We turned it into a contest. Mm. I guess we got carried away trying to outdo each other. And we forgot all about Squeak. Mm. So now he doesn't have a mouse house at all. <gasps> Shh! Hear that? It's Squeak! He's asleep in Rob's mouse house. I told you he's an expert at finding things. I think he likes the house you made for him, Rob. I guess he doesn't need a tower. Or a palace. Just a nice, cozy place to curl up in. I'd say it's mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> or maybe just a small mission accomplished, but sometimes small is best. 
<laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Huh? Huh? Ice planet. Burr. Nope. I want to get big, not cold. Mushroom planet. I don't think anything is big there. That looks like a planet where TK could get bigger. Yes, that's the super-sized planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Didn't? 
It's not us. It's the mushroom. It's super size. Uh, whoa! Ah! Watch out, TK! You're rolling! Ah! TK, are you okay? Yes, thanks to this soft blue flower. And it smells so nice. Huh? What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Because you're big, TK. Really big. Really, really big. Whoa! I am really, really, really big. But how? <gasps> the flower! I sniffed the blue flower and it made me big. Is this cool or what? I'm so big, I bet I can see halfway around the planet. Whoa! 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to cause an earthquake. It's just, I'm so big. I wish I had a giant chalkboard to measure me now. Look out! Oh. Huh? Huh? Nice catch! Boy, I want to be supersized like TK. Me too. Where's another blue flower? No, wait, look how big TK is. Huh? Now look how small the ship is. Mm. Oh no, I'm too big. I won't fit in the rocket. What am I gonna do? Look, huh? that butterfly is a regular size. Which means not everything on the supersized planet is supersized. Which might mean if small things can grow big, then big things can grow small. Exactly. You really think so, Ruth? Oh no! I sneezed them away! Ooh. Where are we? Huh? Uh, uh oh! Huh? More flowers! Don't sniff them! Or they'll turn us into giants too! No, it was a blue flower that made TK big. These are red. Ah! It's okay, Orbit. You don't have to be afraid of the flowers. Not the flowers! That! Huh? I don't want little bees. I just don't want a giant bee thinking I'm a flower. We have to get back to TK and find some way to shrink her back to normal. Where did they go? Don't worry, I'll find you. Where are they? Look out! Oh. Ah. Here, TK! We're down here! Look at the ground! Oh, she can't hear us. It's no use. They're so small, I can't even see them. But I could squish them. Uh-oh. If you're near me, look out! I'm going back! Whoa, whoa. Hurry! After her! Let's go! Ah. Being bigger sure isn't better. At least not this big. I can't fit in the rocket. I can't find my friends. Wait! My tummy trunk! I must have something to help me find them. There's no way to get over those giant spikes. Do you hear something? Hmm. Huh? Ah! Where did that giant soccer ball come from? Hmm. TK's toy trunk.
make things big, the red flowers make things small. Hey, you guys! I knew I'd find something to help me see you. Now, what were you saying about the red flower? You want me to... to smell the flower? Whoa! small, but I'm just glad to be me again. We're happy too. We like you just the way you are. Well, I'd say that's a really big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The ice planet. That's a cool planet. But we might get cold sleeping in a tent there. The Polpincorn planet would be a great place to go to watch movies, but not for camping. That looks perfect. Excellent choice. That's the camping planet. Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt!
the Captain Planet.
back to the rocket ship. The boat's kind of small, Rob. Even for me. I mean, what if we made a big one? You mean, build a boat big enough for all of us? I'm sure we could do it, if we have enough trash. Well, what are we waiting for? Water doesn't unglue the glue. You had to say that. <gasps> Rocket ship ho! <home! laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! We did it! Cleaning up and recycling all that garbage helped get us home. Well, I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit and I learned all about camping on the camping planet. We learned that good campers pick up their trash and leave their campsite clean for the next camper. But most of all, we learned that recycling is very important. We used trash nobody wanted to make a boat that brought us safely back to our rocket ship. That was great. Well done. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, 